Hi gang, Mikey D here, and if I were king, all politicians would be infected with the Pinocchio curse, and their noses would grow each time they told a lie. And that would mean more room would have to be built into Congress, state legislatures, county commissions, city halls, you get the picture, to accommodate the politicians' huge proboscises, or proboscis, that's another term for noses, because they all lie to some degree. But I'm wondering if the renovations going on at the White House are to make extra room for the growing nose of Donald Trump because he has taken lying to the Hall of Fame level. I, I know everyone's shorts are currently in a wad about his statements regarding North Korea, but how can you believe this pathological liar? And that is what he is, a pathological liar. Remember, his candidacy got a huge jump start from his lie, yes, it is a lie, that President Obama was born in Kenya. Then during the campaign, Trump said he would eventually release his tax returns. Haven't seen those yet. And from the day he was inaugurated, the president, according to the New York Times, oh, I can see him and hear him screaming right now, the failing New York Times with their fake news, but they have caught him telling a whopper on an average of once every three days, and on several days he told more than one lie to account for more than 100 falsehoods in his first 200 days as president. From day one, saying the audience for his inauguration was the biggest ever. Why? Between three and five million illegal voters caused him to lose the popular vote. Why? We are going to build a wall and Mexico is going to pay for it. Lie, lie, lie. It goes on and on and on. And what I can't understand is why the president's supporters believe him and label facts as fake news. It's, it's sort of like mass hypnosis. And what completely baffles me is that if he lies on a regular basis, why are those who are hurting believe he's telling the truth about helping them when his entire life has been about helping the rich get richer? Now, I understand that those same people are disgusted by the fact they have been lied to by so many politicians in the past. And they were looking for someone who would actually drain the swamp and tell it to them straight. But while his message may be right, in my mind, he's the wrong messenger. And that's why I think all politician schnozolas, another term for nose, should grow like Pinocchios every time they tell a lie. If I were king, I might decent.